Dude! Some sort of body in the water next to me. What the hell is that? There's literally an otter in the sewer. We got a nice little pleco right here. Guys, look at all the fish in the water. Oh my god! Dude! I'm actually so scared to be in the sewer right now. Oh, I think we just caught... No way! That was... Ew. Oh my god, no. Oh no, what is that? Welcome back to Rob's Quads, guys. In today's video, we're going to be netting the polluted tunnel to see if we can't catch any exotic aquarium fish. And I just heard my voice bouncing back at me from inside of the tunnel, and it really creeped me out. But before we get into the video, please like the video, subscribe channel, and turn on post notifications to get right into the video. So we've been to this location a few times now. We went once with my friend Bass Fishing Productions, and we caught a lot of stuff and we went another time and caught a bunch of these really cool crawfish so we're back again to see if we can't catch any of these fish and i'm looking at the water right now there's this streak of stuff i don't know if that's pollen what kind of stuff like i literally have no idea you guys can see it clear as day there's just this film across the entire top of it but there's also a lot of fish in the canal and i could actually see some sitting in the muck right over here you could see all these big cichlids are these cichlids or mollies i can't tell oh my god they're so dude they're so fast oh no all right so so we just missed out on all of those because they moved too quick but we're gonna come over here and see if we can't net up any of these guys we've got a bucket right here of course and we're gonna see i gotta throw this down with one hand but we're gonna see if we caught anything in this net there's a ton of plastic a ton of stuff and realistically guys i should have bought brought a trash bag with me for this but I'm not seeing any fish in here. We got a lot of the forbidden boba. But overall, this spot is just really gross and really nasty. So we're not going to waste much time trying to fish it. We're going to hop in the tunnel. And I'll see if you guys could actually see inside of the tunnel with the lighting. I don't have a flashlight on me. So we'll just see if my camera could correct to it. And we'll explore the tunnel, see if we can't find anything. And worst case scenario, guys, we continue down the polluted waterway and see if we can't net some of the grasses to see if we can't catch any exotic fish. So we're going to take this net, guys, and we're going to see if we could run up in here and see if the light corrects can you guys see well you guys could actually see pretty good so i think we're gonna take the time to go in here i gotta make sure nothing gets in my hair because i'm fabulous god oh i see a lot of fish whether or not i catch the fish is another story just because oh i did i caught some fish i don't know if you guys oh you guys could see pretty well okay this is cool but we did catch some fish down in here this net's pretty fine so it should be able to catch a good amount of them i think they were mostly mosquito fish so they slipped out but regardless guys there's a ton of fish in this sewer tunnel so we're just gonna keep running through it and please bear with me because i am filming on my own right now so <laughs> It might be a little cramped at times, angles might get a little weird, sounds might not sound right. But if you didn't watch that first video, this sewer is pretty big. Oh, wait, what is, is that a duck? Am I in the sewer with a duck right now? Oh, <gasps> no way, it's an otter. Oh, what? There's an otter in here, look at that. The lighting is super, guys, there's an otter. Should I be in the tunnel? Otters are pretty mean, I think. Look. Guys, you can barely see it. There is literally an otter in the sewer right now. So you know what, guys? I'm gonna leave it be. I'm gonna let him go because they act, they're pretty aggressive, I'm pretty sure. So we're gonna leave him be and see if he leaves. For the time being, though, we're gonna go down the canal and see if we can't net some fish because we've got company that I didn't anticipate on finding in here, you guys. That black blob is an otter. You know what? But we'll leave him be, let him do his thing, and go fishing elsewhere for a second because he seems to be having a good time. There is an actual otter in the sewer. The color is really bad because the lighting isn't good, but you can see him clear as <laughs> so, There's a wild otter in the sewer, bro. That is so cool. Look at him just have a good time. Probably catching the fish we're trying to catch as well. That is literally so cool. But regardless, we're gonna leave that otter be no matter how cool it is. I mean, we might go try to cuddle with it in a second. Oh, that didn't really work that well, but we're gonna keep scooping this muck and see if we can't pull anything cool up. I'm basically saying I'm cool up. <laughs> Back in the sixth grade, I got the bag riz. You guys know that song, you know. I actually don't listen to any of his songs, but it's stuck in my head. But we got a bunch of stuff right here. We got to dig through. A lot of trash. I really regret not bringing a garbage bag. Maybe part two, guys, we just do a straight up sewer cleanup, but we're gonna sort through this and see if we can't. Oh, dude, look at this. We got a nice little pleco right here. I'm not too sure what species of pleco this is. It's got a fat head. The ones we were catching here the other night had fat heads as well, but they had a lot different color, a lot better color than this guy. So we're gonna get him in a bucket and we're gonna see what he looks like. The stream water 
it's actually pretty clear but we could even leave the bucket right here okay so he's in the bucket if you guys can id this placostomus comment down below but that's a pretty cool little find definitely an exotic fish we do have you know invasive common plecos but those are pretty normal so that is not a common i don't think we're gonna pick up the net and keep going i believe our otter friend is still in there somewhere having a good time so we'll just keep netting this area while we wait for him to you know move on because i don't think otters are aggressive but i don't really want to find out when i'm in a polluted sewer tunnel full of nasty disease and trash so we're gonna let him have his moment and in the meantime we're gonna start netting around because there is a lot of life i mean guys if you look at the canal right here you can see all these fish swimming around we don't know exactly what they are they mostly look like mollies and mosquito fish but we have also caught a ton of really cool crawfish here oh uh, look see yep oh was that a baby cichlid oh a crawfish nice look so we got a little crawfish right here now this is one of the native florida crawls although he's got a really interesting marbling on him that's a really cool little crawfish we're gonna put him back i don't need to keep him no not necessarily that cool and then we got this right here this looks to be a baby jewel cichlid so there are cichlids in here potentially there could be even more exotic cichlids but this is another invasive species a baby jewel cichlid We'll put him back as well. And we're just going to keep digging through. You can see there's still even more trash. A lot of trash, actually. All these plants look really good, but it doesn't seem like we got much else. Oh, another crawfish. Oh, another crawfish. Dude, this sewer system, like this area in general, just loaded with crawfish. Look at this. We caught two more craw So three craws total in this one net. I literally moved 10 inches. Well, 10 feet from the tunnel. So I'm sure this is actually probably what... Oh my God, look at all these fish. Guys, look at all the fish in the water. We got to get on those, but they're so fast. And they got all the structure. Oh, there's a big cichlid down here. Look, there's a, actually a huge cichlid down there. Oh my God, this canal is loaded. No way. What is that? Guys, I don't know what's happening right now. We're seeing a lot of fish. We saw an otter and now it looks like there's some sort of body in the water next to me. Oh no. Is that an otter? It's some kind of rodent looking thing. What is that? I don't know if you got I don't know if I'm even able to show you guys this. What the hell is that? Is that a baby raccoon? That's sad, firstly. Second, disgusting. Um, I'm sure if there's dying animals in this water, it can't be too good. But regardless, we'll get right back to the netting. See if we can't stay. This is low-key like a rescue mission now because these aquarium fish are living in some really bad conditions. We'll get a look at all these fish. I'm kind of scared to sort through this now knowing that there's like literally dead animals in the water. Oh huge water bug. That's gross. Oh Hey, bud another crawfish not one of the cool ones, but yet again another craw pretty pretty nice Throw him back in there I think we're gonna go another net in that one spot because we're catching a ton of crawls out of it So I feel like the odds we catch one of those super super cool crawfish is kind of high But it looks like just a lot of snails, a lot of crawfish, a lot of little mosquito fish. Throw this all back. Nothing too, too crazy in that net. But we're going to net again and see if we can't pull up any more crawfish. Ugh. Make sure they're all in the net. They don't fall out. And we'll just drop this right here. Oh, yep. There's a crawfish right here. Look, he's already kicking. Hey, bud. Boom. Another crawfish. I mean, this thing is just loaded with these guys. That's crazy. Oh, look. <laughs> another crawfish right here. Wow. That is so sick. Look, another crawfish. Um, any more crawfish in here? We're, we're gonna clear out this leaves, put them back in the water. Oh my god, dude, look at this guy. <laughs> oh my god, dude, you could see him clear as day. One of these little dwarf, dwarf crawfish, I think, or maybe it's an orange. And the hybrid crawfish we caught out of the canal last time we were here, we caught in the tunnel where that otter was, but they had a lot of orange, they had a lot of blues, they had a lot of whites, and so we hypothesized, guys, that they probably got a mixed group of colored crawfish in this sewer tunnel, because how else would they have these hybrid colors and multiple colors on a single crawfish? This really is a super awesome find, and luckily, guys, I'm not hearing that otter anymore, so we're gonna get a little guy in the bucket, and I'm actually probably gonna take this bucket out of the canal just so I don't accidentally lose these guys. But I think it's time to go back in the sewer. We might find an otter, we might not, but I'm willing to take the risk. We're gonna go into the sewer tunnel. I already see so many fish and I don't hear our little otter friends. So I think we're gonna be good to net. Um, I might just run back here with you guys just right now just to make sure he's actually still not in here because at the end of the day, we won't know. 
and this is actually really scary guys it's just as dark in here right now for me as it is for you but i know for certain we caught a few of the really cool crawfish back here and i'm hoping he hears my boys booming and decides not to come back out super low visibility in the tunnel because i do not have my flashlight on me like i literally can't really see you can't even see my feet right now oh <laughs> you can but it's super difficult. Hello, I'm actually kind of scared that the otter's still in here, but I just want to get to the open spot. I'm scared. Guys, like, I'm not gonna cap. I am scared of the otter. Whenever I was at Blake's, he'd warn me, hey man, otters bite. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Otter, you hear me coming? Please don't try to attack me. Mr. Otter, <laughs> guys, I know it's annoying, but I'm genuinely scared. Can you guys see him? Is he there? Hello? I don't hear him. He might have went out the other side. He might have also been the thing that killed that other thing. But we're just going to take a scoop down here. We're going to take a few scoops while we can. Just because oh, I'm scared. I like, I'm literally scared. Also, it's super hot outside. You can see vascular AF, bro. AF. Hashtag gym, hashtag workout, hashtag bodybuilding. Let's see if we caught any. I just hit something big. Okay, I'm scared. We're running away. I'm actually so scared to be in the sewer right now. I'm gonna just run with this low. See if we can't scoop anything up on our way out. Because I am like actually scared of otters. This one specifically. You know what? For good measure too, we're gonna scoop some here. Might as well while we're out here. Ugh. All right, let's see. Any cool find. Forearm pump going kind of dumb right now because I'm recording alone. Because now there's so much crap in here. Look at all this stuff we were able to net up. Hopefully. Oh, dude. Oh my God. Dude, it is one of the colored crawfish. Oh, this has got to be what the otter's hunting in that tunnel. Because guys, these things are so colorful. There's no way he doesn't find these. Like these must be the easiest things to find in the tunnel because they're crystal white, pearl white crawfish in the tunnel. And I don't know much about otters, but what I do know is, is they love crustaceans, oysters, crawfish, all kinds of invertebrates. Are they invertebrates or crustaceans? Invertebrates, right? But regardless, I'm sure the otters love munching on all the crawfish. So we're gonna get this guy in the bucket with the rest of the keepers. So now that's one white crawfish, a bristlenose pleco, maybe some kind of interesting little pleco right there. And then one of these little dwarf crawfish. Well, we might as well check the rest of this because it seems we did catch some fish as well. All this garbage, this polluted trash. It's literally disgusting. Ew, oh my God, that is so gross. Ugh. I don't, I really shouldn't even be touching any of this stuff. I can't believe fish are actually able to live in this. I, this is incredible. I mean, like, so disgusting. Like, I don't even really want to be touching that stuff, so. Sewer, we really can't see much right now, guys. So I think we're going to fish around the rest of the polluted landscape here and see if we can't pull up any more really cool crawfish. So I'm seeing a ton of fish down here. I mean, like, guys, look at how many mollies and stuff. I'm going to try to get under them, but it's going to be difficult. Oh, I just saw a bunch jump away. Okay, cool. We caught a black and mild. <laughs> oh, we did get a molly down there. I don't see anything cool. Oh, wait, actually, this is kind of neat. Oh, that is actually sick. The net floats. Oh, dude, <laughs> this could be its own little live well. That's actually really cool. But the crawfish hang around in these really thick mats right here. So this is what we're going to be focusing on. Oh, that was a great net. It was until it wasn't. But we're just going to keep going. I think we're going to go... We're gonna net around this cart right here. This thing is literally disgusting. So we're gonna try to net around this and see if we can't catch anything. The water doesn't look too high though. So it's gonna be really hard for me to scoop and get under these weeds right here, but we'll try it a few times just to see. Oh, that was a good one. That was a really good one actually. Make sure we get everything back in the net. Good technique, Rob. Thanks guys. Guys, I love how you guys are always supporting. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel. Even send a super thanks if you want because the kid's really trying to just survive out here. But seems like we didn't catch much. Nothing there. So we'll just throw this all back. And we're clouding up the canal, which might actually work in our favor. 
Oh, no, this is just not shallow enough, guys. But down there, by that other tunnel, there is literally so much weed, so much deeper. We're gonna net over there and see if we can't catch anything. And I just realized we just stepped over and walked over. Whatever that dead little animal is. Gross, dude. That is actually disgusting. That's gotta be a baby raccoon, just decom. I don't know what else that would be. It seems as though all the flooding we had just gotten recently actually ripped up a ton of the weeds we had. But you could see all these bundles of plants right here. There's still a ton in the canal, so we're definitely going to still try and fish this yeah we'll just see what how it goes i just saw a little cichlid swim out of this but luckily the way it is all these little bunches it's gonna be really easy for us to just swoop down in there and, s and snatch them up little tiny itty bitty killy fish where did you jump off to i don't know he was in there but tiny little native stuff a lot of baby little fish, a lot of little snails. No cool craws yet, but we have been catching a ton and we know they're in this system. So we're definitely gonna try our best to get on some. Boom, okay. Boom. Oh, oh, craw. Oh no, ghost shrimp. Got a little grass shrimp right there. I thought it was a crawfish for a second. Disappointing, just like you disappoint your father. What? Guys, I did not mean that. I'm not seeing much right here. We're gonna take another scoop, throw this back in the water. You know, we're just gonna keep working the bank just like this. This edge of the water, you could tell, is a lot clearer. There's this really sketchy tunnel right there next to Tammy's house. Now, if you don't know Tammy, I'd suspect that Tammy has a few habits. I would show you the house, but that's so disrespectful. Um, but just know Tammy's over there. So we're not gonna go over there because <laughs> we might not come back. Okay, it is cleaner though right here, so. That's nice. I think it's because the water's a lot, there's a lot more water here. It's a lot more open, they don't have that blockade. But we're just gonna slam dunk this right here. Oh, oh, shrimp. Shrimp right there. Oh, a little bigger cichlid. We got a bigger jewel cichlid right here. So this canal has a ton of jewels, that's pretty cool. Get him in the light, boom. Little baby jewel cichlid, not bad. Throw him back. Could have sworn I saw another little fish down in here. Oh, yeah, killy fish. Killy fish goes back in the water. They're not really cool. Shake this through. No craws. Some shrimp though. Some shrimp. Throw them back. It's not looking like we got any craws, so I'll just sh shake it out just in case. Oh, dude. Oh my God. Look, right in the heart of this weed was another one of these tiny little orange crawfish. But we got another one of these itty bitty orange baby crawfish. A really beautiful little bugger. I mean, they're bright red. Very pretty little guy. So we're gonna get him in our little bucket and keep on keeping on. Oh, I just threw him in there. <laughs> oh, dude. Hold on. I'm not gonna move. I'm not gonna move him up. I'm not gonna try to spook him. Oh my God. Look at the color of that fish. That might be a mosquito. I don't know if we have a net small enough to catch him. Here, we'll try to walk up on him. Look at that beautiful fish. Is that like a killie fish? Here, let's see if I can catch him. Oh, I think we just caught, no way, dude. Look at how beautiful this fish is. Oh my God, what is this? Is this like some sort of guppy or is this some sort of killie fish? Whatever this thing is, this thing is gorgeous. This is a gorgeous fish guy. Wow, let's get him in the bucket. I don't know what this is. It's like pretty big if it's a guppy. So I don't know if this is a guppy. It might be some kind of killie fish. We got a lot of species of those here as well, but that actually looks like a guppy. That is beautiful. That might be one of the coolest finds out of this canal, but we're gonna get this guy in the bucket right here. Boop. Beautiful fish, man. Also guys, the floods just ended and it is super hot here right now, super humid. Man, I am cooking down here, dog. I'm seeing like a bunch of fish schooling back there, but I'm kind of, I'm really hoping actually we do find some more of those. I don't know what exactly that was. It looked like it could have been some sort of guppy. Oh, something just hit the water. Interesting. And then that right here. Any species, any species. We got some little fish down there. A ton of little baby cane toads. We're just gonna honestly just put this back. I don't want to deal with all that mess. If I bring that up, all those cane toads are just gonna croak. Which actually isn't a bad thing because they're super invasive, but you know, not really something I want to do. I just hit a rock. Great net though, so we'll see if we caught anything in this. Hello? Hmm, no. Not seeing much in this net. All right, well, I think I want to keep working my way back this way now, because I feel like there's more weeds there. Oh, perfect little mat of weeds right here. Oh, rip straight through them. All right, let's see what's up. Oh my God, so disgusting. I don't think there's gonna be anything in here, honestly. 
This is looking pretty whack. I haven't seen like a single living creature in this muck. Oh, what is this? Oh my god. Ew. That's a fresh molt from a crawfish. Actually, I think that might have just been a crawfish that had molted and got eaten alive. Gross. Ew, why did I touch that? Another one of these guys. Wow, that thing is beautiful. I don't know exactly what, I don't, I don't know what this is, but it's really pretty. We're gonna get him in the bucket. We're not gonna keep him out of the water too long. It's really hot. Boop. Yep, there he goes. We're doing well on this side of the canal, but it's honestly, I feel like going back to the other side because I really, really, really want to keep fishing that polluted part, see if we can't pull anything up over there. So we're going to head back down that way and see if we can't catch any more colorful crawfish like we have been. We caught a few of the red ones over here, but the majority of the super, super cool ones we caught were actually down by the polluted tunnel. So we're going to head down that way. Honestly, guys, I was just thinking, and it is super, super hot outside. I kind of want to take a break, but I don't want to stop fishing, guys. I want to keep catching these exotic aquarium fish. So then I got an idea, right? There's this tunnel right here. It feeds into the canal. While I rest, we could set my net there because my net actually floats. So I'll be able to put it right under the waterway. And we're, we're just going to leave it there while I take a little break because the sun is kicking my head right now so we're gonna set my net down there we're just gonna leave it be let it do its thing and then we're gonna check it back back in a few minutes maybe even like half an hour because like i'm beat and we're gonna see if it actually caught any fish we're gonna test this little experiment out i'm kind of curious to see how it goes and this net is like it's fine enough to where i don't think anything small like too small will actually slip through so we're gonna run down there with a the net and we're just gonna drop this down there and see if this functions like if it doesn't stay then so be it but i'm kind of curious to see what actually happens because this sewer looks kind of gnarly and there's a lot of water coming through here oh that should work you guys think there's an otter down there look at that i wonder where that goes but we're gonna leave the net right here while i take a break and we're gonna see if it catches anything but i'm gonna take a little break drink some sodas drink a little bit of my diet coke and then get right back into it i'm very very curious to see how that actually goes when you think about it it's basically a fish trap so i'm gonna sit in my car um drink some fluids you know stay hydrated we'll see what comes from it you know we'll see but it is really hot outside like it's got to be like 100 degrees all right feeling well rested beautiful curls luscious i mean guys look at those feeling great we're looking good too so i'm pretty ready to check the trap it hasn't moved yet so we'll see also low key might start raining again question mark but we're gonna run down there and see if this trap actually caught anything we'll see if it worked what is good with this little trap right here and you can see all the little cane toads running around but i'm gonna put the bucket right there was it mission accomplished mission successful we caught some oh Dude, oh my god, we caught two of these little baby craws in there. Dude, what? Oh my god, yes, look at that. So we caught some little baby crawfish coming from there. I bet you they could even live in that pipe. Crawfish do like streams, like rivers flow, stuff like that. So that's a pretty cool find right there. And then we got another one of these little crawfish as well. That's really neat. But I want to fish around that sewer one last time. So we're going to spend a couple more minutes here. We're not going to spend too, too much more time. Almost slipped and ate it. Is our otter friend back? Hello, Mr. Otter. I think Mr. Otter left. He was tired of my shenanigans. But we got a lot of stuff here we could net. We're just going to take a few more scoops and see if we could get anything. Oh, that was a good one. That was, ew, oh my God, no. Oh no, what is that? Oh, gross, dude. This stuff is, the, I mean, you could see the oil slick stuff. Uh, it's been gross from the start. It's just constantly getting reminded of it with the dead animals. Not too fun. Something smells rotten over here too. So we're gonna, this is gonna be the last net. We're just gonna see what we pull up. Oh, gross. Throw this over there. I'm done with you. We'll just check through this stuff. Ew. It's always so disgusting. Oh, dude, what the f <laughs> Hey, buddy, wait, where are you going? Dude, it is a blue crawfish dog. I don't think you understand. You're being detained right now. No, 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 no. You're not going back to the canal. We just netted you out of it. Dude, what? Homeboy was making a run for it. He wasn't sticking around for nothing. This is a really, really cool little blue craw. But honestly, guys, I think pretty soon we're gonna get rained out. We're gonna add this little crawfish into the bucket and take all our finds back to my friend Bobby's house. As of right now, I am kind of beat. We did catch a lot of cool stuff out of the sewer and the hidden tunnel and the polluted trash. 
So overall, really good day. Homeboy is kicking out like crazy. We're gonna bring him back to the house, but I also think, guys, if you wanna see a part two, maybe where we spend more time fishing this area, make sure you like, subscribe, drop a super thanks if you're feeling cheeky. We got him in the bucket and we're gonna go back, but it looks like I'm about to rain out. And honestly, guys, I'm just beat. It's been so hot, I'm sweating like crazy. Um, but yeah, we're gonna bring these back to Bobby's house and get them added into some of the ponds. All right, guys, so we're currently back at the bass fishing production estate, and we're going to be taking all the crawfish compound. We compound. <laughs> we're gonna be taking all these crawfish we caught from here and actually adding them in. We gotta just make sure none of them are in these lily pads. But we also caught these guppies. I mean, honestly, we might as well just throw these guys in there. <laughs> <Are you> gonna... <laughs> oh, there we go. And then we got the second one right here. We're going to add him in here as well. This is just the mystery pond where we're going to be throwing in a bunch of random stuff. And then one day, guys, when the time is right, we're going to dig through it and actually catch up. This pleco is going insane. We're going to catch out anything we added. We've never added any crawfish in here, but I think now, today's a good day to do so. So we're also going to throw in these little dudes. Help. <laughs> Help. <laughs> but he should be fine. There's nothing too big or predatory in here, or so we think. And then we got this big blue craw. Right hither. Oh wow! Wow! Look at you, handshake. Dap me up. He's, he's dabbing. He's dabbing. <laughs> he's dabbing his right. Yeah, dap me up, bro. Dude, <laughs> that is so uncool. That is literally so not cool. Dap me up. <laughs> oh, he's kicking. He really doesn't like. Me. Ow! <laughs> thanks. Oh, yeah. oh, he's trying to eat my finger. <laughs> okay, that was rude. Put him there. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> he was not a fan. So the blue crawfish is in there, and then they're in this. Fuck it. We just got a pleco, and then seven of these. I think six or seven. seven? What? Six or seven of the dwarfs. Holy crap. Let me see. I don't see one. <laughs> They're in there. They're just, they just match the color of the bucket. I see three. Are you sure you got seven? <laughs> oh, no. Hey, are you sure you got seven? <laughs> you know, that's interesting because I definitely caught more than three. Really? <laughs> Dude, they disappeared. That's funny. Oh, that's scary. Well, so we caught some dwarfs. <laughs> I don't know. That's weird. <laughs> Dude, because I was looking at the buggy, you told me you caught orange crabbers. I was like, where? Yeah, that's interesting. That pleco's really cool. Whoa, that pleco's sick. Yeah, that was a cool little pleco, but we definitely caught more than three of these guys, so Maybe I don't know. in the back of your car. <laughs> they might be, actually, but we're going to add these guys into the pond, and we're going to go check my car. <laughs> Come on. Come here. Get out. Come here, you ungrateful bass. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we definitely caught more of these guys, so that's very strange. Um, we got my Home Depot receipt, very important, but I see no crawfish. <laughs> I think you're delusional. You didn't catch seven. Dude, you know what it could be? You didn't the take your meds. schizophrenia. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But li literally, I don't know where they could have gone. This makes no sense. I don't believe you, though. I'm going to have to watch this video because I literally don't believe you. Yeah. Um, well... Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> and that is it for today's video, guys. If you wanted me to go back and do like a 24 hour fish trap type deal at that tunnel to see if we can't catch the fish, we might actually end up catching that otter low key now that I think about it. But if you want to see that, make sure you like the video, subscribe channel, and turn on post notifications. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Deuces.